Hey, hey guys, welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day, and then we increase that exercise very slowly. Today, I'm glad that my exercises aren't super tough. I mean, the seven uh, curls is super easy. The eight push-ups isn't super hard, especially since I've been widening my stance a little bit. But the 63 squats is kind of a bitch. Uh, it's like, ugh. And I'm telling you, man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I've been doing other stuff, working on the computer. I went out on a couple errands. I'm like, put it off, put it off, put it off. Do I really have to do it? Again, you really have to do it. And you have to do it every day. And that's what's going to make the difference. So I don't know how to find it within you to make yourself do it every day. I don't know where that uh, strength of will comes from or whatever it is. Um... But uh, yeah, I guess I'm using the fact I'm using the fact that I have to do a video every day. And since I have to do I have to do a video every day, like everybody who's watching the videos would be like, hey, you didn't do a video today. You know, so it's like I feel that kind of social pressure, I guess, a little bit to do it. So that helps me. Um, although I was doing it for about a month before I started recording it. So anyway, enough talking. I know I'm going to feel better after I do it. That's the thing I've, I've, I have uh, debugged. So we're going to drop this little bit down so you can see. Uh, there we go. As you can see I've, I've got my elbow right there about on my inner thigh here. That's straight down, all the way down. One. All right. Two. All right. Three. All right. Four. Five, and when you're starting, guys, six, seven, you really want to pick, that's it, just seven. You want to pick a low amount of exercise to start with, a low amount. One, I need to lean, I actually need to kind of lean down to get this elbow where I want it on the, uh, on my inner thigh there. Okay, two. So I've got to kind of squinch down to make that happen. Three. And that's to make sure I go all the way down. Now you don't want to hyperextend. So you don't want to put a bunch of weight this way, right? So you kind of want it more vertical, I guess. I think I was kind of doing that bad. I was doing this angle. So I could feel, why is this pressure on my elbow here? It's because I had this fulcrum. So let's go like this. Now we're coming straight down. So it's just hanging. I'm not putting weird pressure on the back of my elbow. So. All right, two, and it's okay. It's okay if, if it's straight down and your elbow goes back a little bit when you pull up, that's probably okay. I like to put a little bit of support for my leg there, but don't like get this big weird leverage thing and hurt yourself. So, and I think that's three, all right, nice. All the way down straight, uh, four, uh, five, and then six. And then seven, real light, real easy exercise to start with. Get us warmed up with those curls. Now we're going to do the push-ups, which again are about ten times easier than the squat. Maybe not ten times, about six times easier than the squats because it's only eight reps, right? As opposed to freaking, what, uh, 63 reps of the stupid squats. But we're warming up. Oh, we're getting to the squats. We're getting to the squats. All right, let's, I'm actually going to try to get this camera angle a little better here. See, I got my Home Depot bucket in here. Uh, I want to get my legs a real good shot of my legs here so we'll change our angle a little bit there we go that's a pretty good shot so we're gonna go like this here we go right under our shoulders maybe back a little bit so I don't slide myself forward when I go but also I'm gonna widen them a little bit and that's gonna make the, the push-up a little easier for me a little more peck then you're gonna see we're gonna tighten our legs just like that we're gonna tighten our butt we're gonna tighten our chest shoulders everything stomach one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, all the way down, all the way up. And when I come down, I touch my chest. For a while, I was kind of like putting my head. I don't, well, you can't really see it here. I was kind of putting my head on the ground each time. I was like leaning forward to make sure my head touched. I'm like, why am I doing that? I don't want to mash my head against. Your chest will actually hit first. So, uh, yeah, anyway. 
kind of figured that out today. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, uh, it's better to come down like this, and your, your head should be straight, right? Because you tighten that collar. I'm always talking about the collar. That's here. And then that should be straight. Everything should be straight. And then you touch your chest. Should be at least a little bit, a little bit off the crown with your head, you know. Don't lean forward so much. Anyway, uh, we gotta do squatsies. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that eight. It was harder than yesterday, but it wasn't too hard. So I, that's good. That's good. That's closer to 70% of my max if I spread over that little extra bit. And then we can do some tighter ones. As it starts to get really easy, I'll tighten up again and hit more of these. Once again, that's where I was getting my soreness in my right uh, elbow, kind of the opening up right here. So. It was good to watch that. So anyway, now we're gonna do squats. We gotta do a lot of squats. 63 squats. We're staying at this number for a while because 63, man, really feels like a lot. But I, it's kind of weird. Like they always start. And I'm like, how am I gonna do 63 of these? These suck. And then as I go, I kind of get warmed up, and it starts to feel a little better. And then towards the end, it starts to feel tiring. But I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm getting to the point where I can't do anymore. Like when I do the push-ups, I start to slow down at eight. You know, my, my seventh and eight push-ups are slower. I'm like, I don't know how many more of these I could even do. With the squats, it's like, I'm doing them, I'm doing them. I'm like, this, this feels tired, like not burning, but like tired here and then here and stuff. But it's like, I know I could do more. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'm talking to give myself a rest. Let's do some squats. Get the camera angle up just a little bit more so we can see the top of the squat. Right, you guys understand what the bottom of the squat looks like. We're down here like this. Feet like this, about 90 degrees, about shoulder width apart here. Um, let's back up a little bit here. Let me make this come up a little more. There we go, okay. All right, man, we've delayed long enough. Get this whole info book, it's right in my face here. Let's get that out of the way. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Head straight, we're tucking it in to keep our uh, backbone straight. We're coming straight up, one, oh. Let's back up just a little more there. All right, so 63 of these stupid things, huh? All right, here we go, two. Get this thing out of the way there. All right, three. Four. Five, trying to remember to tuck that head each time. Changing my finger a little bit there. Six. Playing with my I'm playing with the angle on my feet a little bit over here as I do it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. All right, one third of the way done. Twenty-two. Three, <sighs> twenty-four, 
24. Twenty-five, 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 twen
and relatively easy, then move up. So it's just a little bit harder, but still not this exercise that's going to hurt you or work you out so much. You can't have a good workout the very next day. So with that, guys, make it a habit. Make it easy. A little bit. Every day adds up to a lot. And good luck with your daily commitment.